This is the KYY X90A. It's dual monitors for your laptop to give you three monitors. Next on Geekazine. What's up, my geeks? Jeffrey Powers here from Geekazine, Think Magazine, Put in a Geek, and you got me. And today we're taking a look at this right here. It is the KYY X90A. This is a dual portable monitor system to attach to your laptop uh, through the USB-C cable so you could actually get up to three screens for whatever you need work-wise. We're going to unbox it. We're going to check it out. First of all, I want to let you know I did get product from KYY, but they did not sponsor this video. All opinions are of Geekazine, and you can find out all about that over at geekazine.com forward slash review. If you've got a product that you want me to take a look at, message me and uh, we'll get it onto the show. All right, let's take a look at this. This is the KYY 14-inch Type-C triple laptop screen screen extender 1950 grams it's got a visual area of 310 by 175 millimeters they are 14 inch monitors the middle does have a stand as well so it doesn't put too much weight onto your laptop because some laptops can handle it other laptops might not be able to so that stand is perfect for that three monitor system. It's got a color temperature of 6,500 Kelvin and it's uh, got 16.75 million colors on there. So you'll be able to watch videos, you'll be able to uh, check things. I wouldn't use this for any type of color grading by any means, but if you've got, let's say, a retina screen and you just wanna put you know, one side you want to put in uh, Slack or Discord. On the other side, you want to put in your email or chats or anything like that. You have the full screen to do your work. Let's go ahead and give this an unbox. Ooh. First of all, the first thing we see is the KYY monitor instructions right here. That's followed by uh, the setup. It says lay it flat and fold it out and then attach it to the uh, to the laptop. We've got a piece of foam here and then inside here we have the unit. Now keep in mind you do not need to have like a 14 inch laptop. This will readjust for uh, larger laptops, smaller laptops. I think the range is 14 inch to 16 inch. So let's go ahead it's a little bit tough to get out. There we go. It's a little bit heavy. So we'll set this right here. We do have a couple extra things. This is definitely a wall socket wart that we don't need to unbag. We've got, it is a USB-C to USB-A cable. This is mostly for the power, for this power wart right here. Looks to be a USB drive of some sort. It'll be interesting to see what that is. And then of course, uh, this is just going to be, yeah, well, it's a USB C to C, but it does have a C to A adapter on there. So that's pretty interesting. We'll see how that all works out with the uh, with setting up this this device. So this is the uh, monitor right here. As you can see, this is the back of the monitor. And like I said, there is there's the kickstand right there. So you'll be able to when you have it on you do, and if, especially if you use like an Android phone or, or an iPad or something like that you uh, don't have to have that in the center there so it, it kicks up like that but what we'll do is we'll set this down open this up and then open this side up we have a little bit of foam in the middle that we'll take out and there we go we've got these three the two monitors let's do the kickstand really quick and we've got the two monitors right here and right here and then of course we can put whatever in the middle right here, whether it be, like I said, a tablet or a phone or a computer. You can have this set up so the screens are like this. You can also set it up so the screens can be in a tent mode. It's like a triangle mode, or you can also set this up so it's in a vertical mode if you need it to be. And uh, this is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and take the uh, film off here. Looking in on the inside, this is where our connection is. So we have the USB connection into the computer and then one to the power. There is no individual control for the monitors uh, and there is no pass-through, so you can't connect up more than one device to it. And that's what this USB drive is all about. It's got the actual drivers to it for Mac or PC and it is a dual dual drive USB, so USB-A, USB-C. 
depending on what you need to use to plug it in. So what we're going to do is we're going to set it up to a couple different laptops and uh, see how this works. Keep in mind, this is the X90A model. There's an X90 model. Both of them do 1080p. It is a quality of 1080p that you get FHD versus a full 1080p right here. We're going to plug this in. We just installed the drivers for the Mac. Let's go ahead and plug this in. And the screens are going to reconfigure. We see the KYY logo there. There we go. It's going to start up. Here we go. There we go. So we have a left monitor and a right monitor. And when you go to uh, changing the display properties, you will see that set up as a left monitor, or right monitor, because both of these monitors will be on one side and you'll have to manually move those over to uh, to get the full effect. You can get it to move over here to the left side or we can get it to move over. As you can see, th there we have our uh, our monitor set up. And of course, uh, I'm looking at the center monitor, which would most likely be right here. This is going for the MacBook Pro. This is also going through the center, just the single uh, USB power for both of these monitors. You might need to have the power adapter for other types of computers, including the next laptop, which is going to be a Windows laptop that I'm going to set this up with. Okay, so check this out. So this laptop does have RTX installed. So depending on your laptop, how this is how it's gonna work. Sometimes you might get be, be able to get both screens. You might only be able to get one screen at a time. Uh, but in this case, I've actually got three screens on this. Got the primary screen, the left screen, which uh, is number two in Windows, and the right screen, which is number three in Windows. So as you can see, it works perfect. Once again, this is just powered from the USB cable, which is very interesting because with this laptop, whenever I tried to power and use an external display, I needed to use the HDMI and the USB port. Okay, check this out. Um, so I still have the Windows machine up, but now I have it connected to a USB 3.0, which is USB-A in here with the adapter of the USB-A to USB-C adapter. And the monitors are still coming up, which means that I can use my USB-C for something else. Think of that extra driver as creating that the uh, displays for it. And if, you, if I didn't have that uh, driver in there, these displays would not connect up. They power on, but they wouldn't connect. Finally, this is the Android version so this is a Zenfone 7, which normally doesn't uh, accept uh, external connections for video, but in this case, it is doing that through the driver. So I had to actually sideload the driver. So I had to go into the PC, connect up uh, via web page, and then transfer over the driver and then install it from there. But as you can see, it's working really well in vertical mode and in horizontal mode if we call up something. Let's say, there we go, and we'll go vertical and there we go if you got it on a dock you'll be able to use your android device with three screens and a keyboard and possibly a mouse and once again this is an older android so newer androids like the google pixel will probably not have as much of a problem than the zen phone did because you can see a little bit of display issues with this using this driver but uh you can see android phone from 2020 is working perfectly fine with these three monitors. So both monitors have a menu plus and minus button and then the power button. This is on the right monitor. So we have the power button on the right monitor, but each one controls itself uh, for the display functions. So if we hit the menu button, we're going to get a set of displays for this monitor only. We can adjust the brightness. We can adjust the color. Uh, we can uh, do menu time uh, reset. Uh, and there's all the information for the uh, model here. Uh, we can do adjusting the positions and, and everything like that. And then of course, like I said, factory reset. All right, so closing it up fairly straightforward. Uh, there is a pattern though. Start with the left side monitor, close that down, and then the right side monitor on top of that. Let's talk about a few of the pros and cons with this uh, KYY monitor. Great little monitor. Uh, I like the fact that I can set it up for a Mac, for a PC, for an Android. Unfortunately, there is no iOS driver yet, so you can't hook it up to your iPhone or your iPad.
at. I gave it a couple tries and tried a couple uh, things to make it work, but it just didn't do that. Otherwise, if you've got your Mac, if you've got your PC, it's perfect. It does have a handle to it, so you can carry it around. You can also put it into your bag with your laptop. It feels like a second laptop, so it's a little bit heavier than the average portable monitor, of course. All the wiring's inside, so just uh, keep that in mind when you're uh, folding it up and folding it down. Like I said, fold down the left side first, then the right side second. Don't try to force anything. You could break a monitor for sure. What I would have liked, even though it's got a nice little kickstand on the back, it would have been nice to have a VESA mount here because I could see myself actually attaching it to a stand and then having it like eye level to me so my laptop be down here and my two screens be over here. That's a minor thing and I can actually get a, a special mount that will actually do the same job. Now there is a driver you have to install on this thing. It's a company called Silicon Motion. So far what I've seen it doesn't take up too much resource on your Mac, on your PC. Keep an eye on it. If the monitor doesn't work, you're looking for the Silicon Motion uh, graphics driver. And of course, they give you an older version. If you try to upgrade the version, you might break the monitor. If anything, you just have to uninstall the driver, reinstall it again. I had to break in here and I got a couple more pros and cons. First of all, the dual plug, the dual USB plug, the bottom one is for power and the top one is for the feed. If you try to plug the USB-C, in the bottom plug, it will not work. You'll just power on and then say it can't find anything, uh, which also means that you cannot use it for two computers at the same time. You can't assign the left monitor for your, your Mac and the right monitor for your PC or whatever. It's only single monitor support. And then of course, there's no HDMI. So if you've got a gaming system that doesn't have the USB-C support, you basically are going to have to use a different type of portable monitor for your gaming talking about folding it out. If you don't fold the leaves out enough and you set it down, it will be top heavy and it'll start to fall forward. So you have to set those leaves back, those, those windows back, or you're going to have to do some sort of counterweight. Other than that, it's a pretty decent monitor system. I love the fact that it didn't need to attach to the laptop so I could move the laptop around a little bit. I would have loved a stand in on the monitor stand for the Android device. Then I could actually put the Android onto the, the back there and then use the three screens attached to keyboard, attached to mouse, and then of course uh, turn that into a computer. And there's many phones out there that are coming out. One from Lenovo I saw at CES 2024 that's meant to become a workstation. So something like this would be perfect for that. You connect up your phone, you have your monitors, you bring in the keyboard and the mouse, and you're good to go. And we're going to be seeing more smaller devices, mobile devices, where you can just set up into a dock. Really exciting to see that you can actually put a couple screens from there. I also like the fact that you can put this thing into tent mode. You can turn it and run one monitor and then uh, you have a portrait style monitor. Unfortunately, you can't do two portrait style monitors. So it, it would have been nice though if I could have lifted this up and then had one of them so it could turn uh, 180 degrees and then lay it back down. That way I could possibly set up a dual monitor system because it would go, the second monitor would go up like this. This one would flip around, actually set right here. So, and if I had a kickstand going this way, then I could have two portrait monitors going that way. So maybe something that uh, KYY could think about for future releases. Finally, what's missing is an HDMI input. So that means that I can't run a monitor for a gaming system because it would have been nice, especially if this was portable. I could set it up where one screen could actually be my laptop and the other screen could be my gaming system or um, another laptop. Maybe there's another version of the KYY uh, dual portable monitor that does that, but this one does not. So if you're going to be thinking about hooking it up to an Xbox or a Switch or anything like that, it's just not going to work from there unless the device has USB-C connection. It's also 1080p at best. Uh, and then the old, the other model, the X90, is the FHD model. So this one has the better screen out of the two. 
I can see myself traveling with this thing, plugging it in, uh, setting it up, uh, and using it in many different situations, which is really exciting to do, and I will be definitely taking it with me on travel to some of the events that I go to. But what do you think? What do you use for a portable monitor? What do you use for a dual portable monitor? Now, we just reviewed that KYY monitor with a VESA mount so you can attach it to an arm. Is that the type of portable monitor that you're looking for or just something that's easy to use and puts right in the bag and very lightweight? Let me know in the comments below over at geekazine.com or youtube.com forward slash geekazine where you can like, subscribe, comment, hit the bell notification so you know when the next video comes out. Until next time, my name is Jeffrey Powers. Thanks a lot for watching, and you guys geek out and uh, compute on.